whether it was Little League or intramural basketball, the one common theme, I wasn't wanted. Things would change though. I managed junior high baseball, but what I really wanted to be like those athletes that I looked up to on TV. Well, my opportunity was going to come. In my hometown, if you go out for football, there's no cuts. That means if you're breathing, <laughs> if you're breathing, <laughs> you can play. And I thought, hey, I checked, checked my pulse, I'm breathing. So I'm good to go. And on the last day of camp, I'm super excited because of the disappointments that had led to this moment. And as I'm standing in line, I'm thinking of celebrating with my teammates, scoring their first touchdown, putting on the jersey for the first time, running onto that field. And of course, on Friday afternoon, what lucky girl is going to be able to wear my jersey? <laughs> When all of a sudden, the head coach out of the equipment room, as I'm waiting in line, fantasizing about all of this, says, hey, Hobbs. And I'm thinking, oh, he probably wants to know what position I want to play or what number I want. We can't give you a helmet pads without a doctor's note. Immediately, I dropped my head, and I remembered something crucial in my life. My mom had told me earlier on that you never talk back to an adult. So I stepped out of line and I walked to where my mom was to pick me up. And I still remember to this day the gravel underneath my feet, how it felt. The moment that sticks with me is I open the passenger side, view, passenger side door and I go to get in to sit down. The first thing I notice is my mom looking out the driver's side window and her hands are shaking uncontrollably. She turns to me as I shut the door and she says, Jeffrey, I'm sorry, baby, but I can't do this anymore. I can't see you constantly get your heart broken. I can't do this. It's killing me. And the toughest moment was when we pulled out of that parking lot, out of my passenger side window, the one thing I remember was my freshman classmates being freshmen, throwing their helmets in the air, laughing with their friends. It, it taught me a tough moment, a real moment, that just because my mom and I are crying in the car doesn't mean that life stops. And they, sh they should have been happy. That was their moment, but I was crushed. So I decided on the way home to have a master plan, to make a change in my life. And the next day, I ran the hallways. I, I said, Mom, don't pick me up at 3 o'clock, because I'm not going to be ready. <laughs>